And I kind of think, I don't know if I sped up or slowed down. I felt like I just stayed pretty even. And it was kind of one of those things we talked about, like people are going to come back. And they slowly, one by one, came back. I think at one point, Terrence yelled 11th. And I knew I was in ninth. And I was like, I think he's lying, but maybe not. So then I just kind of kept on it. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm really, really happy with it. Amazing. And how did you cope with the heat out there? Obviously, nearly 30 degrees when you come in across the finish sure. line. Yeah, I think at uh, 5 k.m. I was already putting uh, water. Uh, we had ice bags down my back. And I think I did that every single 5k and where other people were like surging to the sponges I didn't really need to do that because I already had it in my back so I think I saved a lot of energy that way yeah, yeah I'm thrilled I mean uh, goal was like top five on a great day top ten on like a pretty good day so ninth overall um, I'll take it like it was tough but uh, yeah I hope I represent as well yeah you did an incredible job and uh, 227 in that heat what's your PB behind me um, it's 224 honestly I never looked at the clock I don't even know what the halfway split was yeah. in my mind I was like we could be running 240 but it doesn't matter like you just have to stay on uh, kind of just the leaders so it's kind of kind of how I approached it. Do you have a specific strategy going into this one? Yeah we talked about it a lot I mean I talked like with my coach my agent the team coaches and uh, they just said patience was going to pay off and so every time I found myself getting a little bit antsy I was like just be patient and sure enough like you know 30k I was like okay I think the places aren't going to change that much after this. Do you do anything to prep for the heat specifically? I did. I did um, a lot. All my uh, afternoon runs in Boulder were, you know, warm, but I did a lot of sauna in the four weeks leading up for uh, humidity training, and I think that that, uh, that helped a lot. Yeah, what do you think about the Olympic marathon trials having the new start time in Orlando? Yeah, you know, I honestly, uh, I kind of expected that, so I wasn't very shocked. Um, and I, I mean, we honestly picked this race because I knew it was going to be perfect prep for that. Like, I didn't come here to run a fast time. This was all about competing, and I think I did that. So uh, I hope it helps for Orlando. Yeah, and how, like, how did you feel the last 10K compared to, like, a normal marathon? Like, not a super hot weather marathon. Yeah, I honestly felt pretty good. New York uh, was pretty warm, and that was pretty rough for me the last 10K. So I think I... Uh, was scared a little to repeat that, uh, and uh, that was kind of the goal. Don't do what you did in New York, like fart, look back and forth, and I, I think it paid off. And one final question to your uh, viewers back home, your family, your friends, what would you like to say to them after this ninth position today? Yeah, I would just say thanks for all the support. This was a really fun build-up. I have a great team. I know people yeah, stayed up. Good, yeah. I think it's like 2 in the morning at home, and uh, yeah, just thanks to everybody. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Nice run out. Thanks. Thanks.